Hello YouTube. Welcome to another episode of Run Level Zero. Today we're taking a look at another desktop review. We're going to be reviewing Neptune. You know, every once in a while, a Linux distribution really steps apart. It, it really raises the bar, and I feel Neptune is one of those operating systems, one of those distributions. Neptune is not based on Ubuntu, which is something nice to see for a change. It's actually based on Debian Wheezy, which is the newest stable Debian release at this time. Now, for those of you new to Linux, what really sets Debian apart, Debian is a rolling release cycle. That means that as the operating system receives updates, you always have the latest, greatest version of all the software, including your kernels and in your drivers. Instead of, well, take for example Ubuntu. If you're running Ubuntu 12.04, when 13.04 came out, you had to upgrade your system. You either had to download a new image and install it on your system, or run the run a system upgrade, like an apt git dist upgrade from the command line, to turn your 12.04 system into 13.04. Now, with a rolling release cycle, if you can imagine installing Ubuntu 12.04, and just by virtue of keeping your system up to date, it gradually turns into 13.04. So that you're always running the latest version of the operating system at any given time. I think that's cool. Now Neptune combines this Debian Wheezy based system with the KDE desktop or the Plasma desktop environment. KDE, when I first got into Linux uh, four years ago, I tried KDE and I was put off to it early on because it was such a resource hog that it ate up so much of my RAM that it left very little for me to run my applications with. So actually for the last couple of years I've, I've kind of shied away from uh, distributions with the KDE desktop. And I've really done myself a disservice because KDE has come a long way. KDE is a very feature rich desktop environment that focuses on giving the user maximum control over their system so you can have as little or as much eye candy as possible. Now, if you've watched my uh, videos for a while, you know that I'm a, I'm a big fan of the KDE window manager, KWIN. Using KWIN, you can have your desktop cube, you can have your wobbly windows and all of your effects, or you can turn them off and keep your system slim. Well, using the entire Plasma desktop, the, the entire K desktop environment, you get that level of control over every aspect of your desktop. For example, if you right click your desktop and go to your settings, folder view settings there, you can get a wide range of wallpapers to install. You just click on it, click apply. Now I'm just using the wallpapers as a, as a ready example. Say the wallpaper you want, you can't find it there. You can easily click on get new wallpapers and it will launch a uh, an installer that will show you all the wallpapers that are available. So you can actually alter your system, upgrade your system however you want. KDE gives you such a great level of control. Now a lot of folks are very fond of Conky. Conky will give you a desktop display that will allow you to monitor your system settings, your network connections, your CPU. You don't need that with KDE Desktop. You just go to Panel Options, cl right click on a panel, go to Panel Options and Add Widgets. And you can see all of your widgets that are available. Say you want a CPU monitor. Let's see if we can find one right quick. Hey, there's one. Just grab it, drag it to your desktop, 
and you have a CPU monitor right there running native in KDE. I mean, you, you just can't beat that. And you can see how snappy and responsive KDE is. Now, Zevin OS uses the Lancelot menu, which is pretty neat. It's very feature rich. Let's see what we get with Neptune. Under Office, you get the LibreOffice suite. Now, one of the things that has really impressed me by Neptune is the, 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 the bundled software that comes with it. I mean, anything that the average user could want for day-to-day -day operations in a small business at home, even doing graphics work, it's all already here in Neptune. Uh, under Utilities, Let's see, we have archiving tools. We have Kate, which is an, a great text editor. KCalc, Clipper. Uh, KWrite, which is another text editor. You can get a root terminal from here. Look at this. We have Sweeper, which is a system cleaner. I wish more systems came with this uh, type of application installed already. And you have TrueCrypt. TrueCrypt is great. TrueCrypt uh, will allow you to set up secure encrypted volumes either on the local system or on removable media such as a thumb drive. Under settings, we see that the software manager is Apper. Apper is a nice graphical software uh, center. Very snappy, very responsive, very user friendly. Let's see, go back over to settings. Uh, we have Gparted. Now this was kind of a surprise for me that it had a uh, GTK based uh, partition editor instead of the native K partition editor, which I actually prefer by the way. You have Java already installed, QT4, screensaver. Now one of the things that really sets apart the K desktop is your, soft, is your uh, system settings manager. It is very intuitive, laid out in a very user-friendly format, and it gives you access to all of your system settings from one location. So many other desktop environments fail in this regard, in my opinion. KDE has really stood out. In addition, you have a Zevin OS hardware manager from which you can control your monitor and hardware settings. Uh, your graphics card and your printers right from here. Under development you have Eclipse which is good for uh, coding. Graphics, the GIMP is installed along with a couple of other handy utilities. Internet, you have a feed reader. Chromium is the default web browser here which was nice to see a departure from the obligatory Firefox. Ice Dove Mail Client, you have KGit, a download manager. This was kind of interesting to me, guys. Kismon, which is a graphical front end for Kismet, as well as Wireshark and the console utilities, the uh, the uh, Aircrack NG suite is already installed on here, which you don't see that too much and I really not sure where they're going with that that's more of a let's say alternative computing type uh, utilities but you can use it to audit your legally audit your own wireless network see how safe and secure you're running and you can see if anybody's trying to uh, steal wireless from you you have an IRC reader uh, Copete Instant Messenger you have a remote desktop client and desktop sharing installed. You have KTorrent as a BitTorrent client. Under multimedia, now Neptune shines in the installed and configured multimedia aspect. You have Amarok, Ardor, uh, digital audio workstation. You have Audacity installed. You have a desktop recorder, Gnome M Player, K3 is your disk burner the excellent KDN Live video editor suite is installed here which is wonderful if you haven't tried KDN Live you're watching something that was recorded with it now Pulse Audio you just have 
so much already installed under games you know, you have you have a couple of neat little games installed there not too much and then your system menu where you have your update manager again you can access apper and gparted let's talk about the file manager for a moment the dolphin file manager is in my opinion one of the most feature rich and just awesome file managers out there if we take a look at control one of the things I really like about the Dolphin file manager you go to tools you can open a terminal but check it out under panel there is a built-in terminal right here in the file manager and the terminal you can see I'm in my home directory if I go and click into documents it changes directory to documents right away so you can run commands right from the the uh, the folder you're actively in what's really cool about this I've really been impressed about Neptune's documentation and uh, user friendliness here in the terminal you can see that there's actually a tutorial for how to use the shell for a beginner I like seeing that. The shell can be a scary place, especially for those just coming over to Linux, and I really like seeing that there's a tutorial in the shell. Speaking of documentation, you have right on the desktop of the live system, you have installation guide that will walk you step by step with pictures how to install Neptune there's a great online support community we go back to Neptune they have forms they have a forum they have frequently asked questions and being based on Debian you you gain access to the great online community of Debian support as well so if you run into problems you will be able to find help online well, ladies and gentlemen if all this is not impressive enough let me just say this video was recorded on the live version of Neptune that's right this thing has not been installed to my system it's all been recorded live you can see my installer is right here and it will soon be run on my system one other thing about the live system right on the desktop you have a persistence creator this GUI will walk you through creating a persistent volume on your thumb drive so if you're running Neptune live from your thumb drive you can create a persistent uh, partition on your thumb drive where you can save all your changes uh, what if you're not familiar with that what that means is normally when you run a live system any changes you make any files you save will be lost when you reboot the system when you use persistence those changes stay with you so you can actually carry your operating system in your pocket and use it on any computer you come to nice feature all in all folks Neptune is a winner it is a breath of fresh air and it is by far the best live environment I have ever used and that includes Nopix, and that's saying a lot. Thank you very much for dropping by Run Level Zero. Thank you for joining me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. If there's a uh, distro out there you want to see reviewed, please let me know, and I hope you stop by again soon.